our fourth speaker, Lucia Dixon, with her project The Humanities Still Relevant. The Humanities Still Relevant. Okay, I'm going to try to be vulnerable. If I make some mistakes, because your speech is fine. Russia and figure out what was happening. 
This can be considered a mistake. This is what my friends say. First mistake, Trisha. <laughs> First mistake. So again, I got on a plane. I didn't speak the language. Made my travel list. I arrive in Russia, and the first thing that I notice, what's the first thing a dumb American would notice? Vodka. Russian alcohol. This was something that... Well, sexy, sexy uh, Russian man. <laughs> sexy, sexy Russian man. Plus vodka. Plus vodka. Russian vodka. And um, Russian vodka became the focus of my studies for the next three years. Supply economics predicts that if you make alcohol more difficult to buy, people will drink less. But if that was the case, then why was Gorbachev's prohibition campaign such a disaster? I wanted to understand the role that alcohol played in Russian culture, and no formula or you know, math equation was going to tell me this. So I turned to history, folk tales, I talked with people, I read Moscow Petushki many times, <laughs> I learned to give toasts, and in the end, I learned to approach complex problems that couldn't be solved with the standard techniques of a technical education. It was really great, it was really fun until I had to apply for jobs when I graduated, uh, during the economic crisis. My friends who had studied economics or math or computer science would go to job interviews and say, I built a robot. What can I say? I read War and Peace. <laughs> Not very useful. Until uh, I got a job interview at Google. And they asked me, Drusha, you're a Russian major. Why should we hire you? What do you know? And I said, well, I know how to answer complex questions. Or at least I know how to start. I know how to learn things. I learned Russian, which was a lie. If you've heard me speak Russian, I don't really speak that well. Um, but this answer was really great. Google liked it, and I got the job, to my complete surprise. And once I started working, I realized that a lot of things that we do in our daily jobs can't be taught by technical education. But instead, the skills that were most valuable were communication skills, the ability to understand what others want. And these are things that we learn living, studying the humanities. And so I return to my original question, the humanities, are they still relevant? And while, yeah, it was hard to find my first job, I would say that I made the right choice and I would make it again. And you, by all being here tonight, are also endorsing the humanities. Because Toastbusters and Toastmasters is giving us skills to become leaders in a globalized and ever-changing world. So for all you've taught me and for encouraging me to keep learning and keep developing my humanistic side, 